Hey guys, DP151515, coming back, we're making a VOD video, it's a VOD video. Yeah, so the reason why uh, I decided to release this kind of video was, um, I've been getting a lot of questions recently on stream, asking me, you know, who is DP151515? You know, what, what, what is your past like? And, you know, stuff like that. Questions that, in the moment, they really catch me off guard while I'm playing a video game, so I'm not sure how to answer it. Uh, so I thought I'd make a video and, you know, kind of explain how I got to the point that I am today. Before we get started, uh, you know, we recently just started going back to streaming every day. And the response in the past week has been absolutely incredible. So I just wanted to thank every single one of you guys watching right now. Okay, so where to begin? Uh, I guess, you know, like most people... Uh, the defining moments of anyone's life is as they're becoming an adult. So let's start high school. In high school, I was a major in film and media production. I was also a uh, member of the chamber choir at my high school, which was like the 16 top singers. Eight were women, eight were men. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't the best student. Uh, you know, I always just made sure I did enough just to get by. I felt like... You know, growing up, I felt like I was, you know, too smart for the system, that I already understood how things worked. And, you know, I was real full of it, to say the least. And, you know, it's a regret I have now as a, an adult, now that I'm 25, going on to 26 this year. But I made it. I graduated high school and... Uh, I moved on to college. I moved out of my parents' house when I was relatively pretty young uh, into an apartment full of friends. Uh, since my like senior year of high school, I'd, I had gained a lot of popularity and I started partying a lot more. You know, I wanted to make sure I was part of every social event, every gathering, every smoke out, every video game session. I wanted, I wanted to be everywhere. <laughs> you know, it's really because Throughout my entire life growing up, I didn't have many friends or good friends to say. Uh, you know, I wasn't the most popular kid and and uh, in middle school and elementary school, I got picked on a lot. So once I started getting attention, you know, of, of course I wanted more and more. <laughs> and it really and I really, you know, I threw my priorities out of whack. You know, my whole life I wanted to do something with editing, I wanted to be in the business, I wanted to be filming and directing and producing. And, you know, at some point, it just, all, it, it all came about, you know, the moment, the, the gathering with my friends, the, the fun that I was having. Just gonna add that to the list of regrets. But yeah, moving on, uh, you know, while I was in college, college and in the early years of my adulthood I worked a lot of different jobs uh, I've worked for McDonald's I've worked for Circle K I've worked for Walmart you know a, a lot of jobs just in order to get by and to pay my bills this week at some point trying to juggle between going to school working full-time and living in a two-bedroom apartment with six other people uh, I kind of, like I said, my priorities were out of whack and I ended up dropping out of college, moving back in with my parents. And at this point in my life, I want to say I'm just like 21. And I eventually get a job as a laborer uh, working for a uh, construction company, making minimum wage, but you know, 40 hours a week. And I stuck with it for a long time. I, I picked up a lot of trades, carpentry, plumbing, uh, electrical work, above ceiling work, finished work, ceiling tiles. Uh, floor work, I've done a lot of things with landscaping, uh, pavers, sod, plants. And you know, I just, I worked myself up in that business. Eventually, uh, you know, for one year I was a manager at a landscaping company. And then eventually I landed a job as a foreman for a general contracting company. And I moved to Gainesville for work. Now kind of backtracking, I, I did miss something uh, quite crucial in the story. While I was working for a landscaping company, uh, I was 23 at this point in my life, and I met the love of my life, Faith Rodriguez, who's now been my girlfriend going on for three years. And so yeah, ultimately I moved to Gainesville, Florida to work for this general contracting company, and she moves with me. Uh, we have our own place, 
you know, I'm making good money. You know, these were the things at the time in my life that I thought would make me happy. And ultimately, I still found myself not happy on a daily basis. You know, I'd go to work and I, like, I loved my job and I hated my job. I, 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 you know, it's hard to explain because I had a good job. I worked with great people. And it was just, I was so uncontent with my lifestyle that I constantly kept blowing it the fuck up. <laughs> so eventually, fast forwarding a bit, I lose the job. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things I can give you guys details on, but I could literally go on and on. That would be a whole nother video of discussion about certain aspects of my life and decisions that I've made and regrets that I have. But ultimately, I lose the job. Moved back into my parents' house. Uh, now this is last year. I moved back into my parents' house. I start working at UPS uh, thanks to my friend. And I start doing the night shift, unloading trucks. But again, it was another you know physical labor job just to pay the bills. And yeah, UPS, great company, takes care of their workers, and the pay was good. But again, it was just, you know, I, even though I've done physical labor the majority of my life in order to pay my bills, it was again something I didn't want to do. Something I, I was just unhappy, you know. And so finally, after you know working there for months and getting to this point in my life where I started, you know, gaining some traction and catching up. After much liberation with my girlfriend and my parents, I was able to come back and make the decision to pursue what I really wanted to pursue. But when I was a kid, me and my brother, uh, you know, I'm talking like six years old kid, me and my brother, we would watch these guys play Halo 1 and like they'd write a script for it and it'd be the funniest damn thing you'd ever seen. It was called Red vs. Blue, if anyone out there has heard of it. They went on to make another 15 seasons because it got that, that popular and created a whole company essentially off of them playing video games and enjoying it. So what went from being Rooster Teeth uh, evolved into more and now they have Achievement Hunter and they do Let's Plays on YouTube. Uh, a company that started off with five, six people or are now hundreds of people. You know, that lifestyle always appealed to me. You know, these guys essentially are playing video games and having fun and making a living off of it. And for the longest time, that's been one of my dreams. But it always seemed, you know, something that one in a million would hit, you know? So. Growing up, I was always, you know, well, society's black and white. I need to get a job. So I want to be a, an editor. I want to be a cameraman, you know? I always thought of it more realistically, so to speak. Um, but, you know, as time went on and on, the more viable of an option that it seemed. Thousands of people make a living off of playing video games and off of streaming. And so finally, I pulled the trigger of it and, you know, like anybody who start who just starts streaming, when I started, it was, you know, I get one or two viewers and they leave, <laughs> which was okay. You know, that's what I expected starting off. You know, I expected this this grind. You know, I did a lot of research before I got into this of how I can make this viable uh, lifestyle to live. And you know, everyone talks about this this hill that you have to climb first. You know, this, the the snowball effect. Uh, that it's going to take a lot of work but eventually the snowball is going to reach the top of the hill and then everything is just gonna fall into place I'm still climbing by the way <laughs> yeah and so the more and more I did this kind of thing uh, you know some days were good some days were eh, uh, discouraging to say the least and it, that's you know it's understandable you put so much effort into something put it out there you get all 10 views under an hour of watch time and you're just like <laughs> and then <laughs> and then after uh you know after going going through um a bunch of personal stuff and my dog getting sick and passing you know i eventually came back with it and started uh streaming daily again and hammering out you know the games that my audience was finding appealing and the response since last week when I started streaming daily has been absolutely amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing. To watch these numbers go up from where they were, I've literally doubled my followers. Like, I still have so much work to do from this point on. 
but to just to just see the start of my dream sprouting it's incredible and it's all thanks to every single one of you guys watching you know that's why like in streams you'll see me try to call every like every follow and it's just because i'm so grateful to everyone that watches me and that enjoys you know the games i'm playing enjoys talking to me and enjoys watching me play the game you know it's 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 weird it's such a weird sensation it's an incredible experience though and so yeah that's pretty much it like i said there's topics and things we can talk about for a whole nother video for a whole nother three videos but you know this this generally sums up the past seven eight years of my life and how i ended up in this point uh and where i want to go from this point you know i want to keep releasing content my youtube channel uh I, i've been kind of slacking off on it since my dog got sick and i've been focusing on mainly streaming right now but i'm bringing that back we're gonna be hammering out content like crazy uh releasing daily streams i'll get a streaming schedule one of these days well thanks for watching guys happy 420 dp 15 15 15 signing off peace out